Hello all, welcome to the Truth Show. And in this video, I will be talking about Jay-Z. It seems that he may have a boyfriend. At least that's what's been going around. Let's break it down. And is it true? a lot of messages about this particular subject it seems that the ex-football player Larry Johnson now most of you who may follow my blog you should have read the blog that I posted about the NFL and gay men in the NFL and things of that nature well the main person in this blog was former NFL player Larry Johnson apparently Larry and Jay used to share an apartment in the Midtown Manhattan luxury high-rise Trump Tower. They even shared each other clothes and Jay-Z has even gave Larry some brotherly advice about his modeling career as well. Oh yes. He even landed his Rockefeller necklace on occasions. Now these rumors coincide with a series of tweets from Larry Johnson. This is what he had to say. He started talking about pedophilia in Hollywood, you know, with the Pizzagate and their codes for children. I know, sick. This is what he said. Podesta, Feel. Brothers mentioning PISA in emails, PISA pedophile code for children, HRC to Podesta. Email mentions sacrificing to Moloch leads you to a canine identity known as Moloch, which uses child sacrifice as worship, which is what I've been saying in many of my videos, you know, um, and pertaining to Epstein, Trump, Freemasons, etc., their practices. He goes on to talk about what I've also been saying about our culture being royalty before. Oh, and not to mention how much the royal family has stolen and is now parading around London with it. However, this is what he said. Through media and certain puppets, we were taught about our culture was. Why is that? Why do they keep enforcing that we were slaves? If you knew our culture was of royalty before slavery wouldn't that supersede the culture that ends in god's anger he went on to say this about jay-z about nfl and not even jay-z would change anything this is what he said our culture is not jay-z it's not hip-hop it's not r&b or gang culture the nfl has been around about 70 plus years there hasn't been one man's influence that has changed the order of the nfl but I do must admit, him referencing Jay-Z to whom has changed and not the NFL does raise flags. He went on to talk about people's souls and falling for the ideology and being brainwashed by the masses. Not to throw a wrench in the revelation of Jay-Z and you know him being roommates and them being lovers. He cleared that up by tweeting this. I was never living with him, lol, stop reading blogs. I was living with my fiance at the time, Long Island City. What I look like, a grown ass man living with a rapper and his girlfriend. Phew. But don't get sad. I mean, he did call Jay-Z out on praising Alistair Crawley, who we all know is a devil worshiper and an ungrateful rebellious child turned man who went on a so-called spiritual sabbatical, gained a lot of followers just like Jesus, just saying who is known to quote this message, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. That Jay-Z quoted slash wore a sweater of, whether he knew it was quoted by Aleister Crowley, I don't know. He's not that smart. And I'm talking about academically and school smart, not street smart. I think a lot of us, or a lot of people, not us, because I'm not in that equation, I think a lot of people confuses the two and they elevate him to a genius status and he's far from it. I don't think he even made it past ninth or 10th grade, if that far. And Beyonce barely finished high school. Anyway, he goes on talking about Balfour men and Masonic puppets and how the rich man slash celebrities don't care about the people only, you know, to make money and collecting people's souls. Then he also confirmed what I've been teaching on false advertising, especially 
about the Daytona shooting. This is what he said. The official death toll was only nine. Where did they get 29? Oh, that's right, 1% who own these media conglomerates are also Masons. They boost through numerology, 13, families of the cable, 29, two plus nine equals 11, master numb. I talk about this in one of, the, one of the videos I've done. I'll leave the link below where I actually break down who actually um, is in charge of all of these um, media outlets and things of that nature. I think I put that video out prior to them shutting my channel down before. I'll look for it and put the link below and add it to my community chat and you guys can go ahead and check that out. Okay? Anyway, getting back to the story. So, Jay-Z being bisexual. Now, this rumor someone started when someone who worked in Jay-Z building and he was questioning the closeness of Larry Johnson and he and how they attended games together and this is what was quoted. I am writing you to ask a question. I work in the building Jay-Z lives in, Trump Tower, and though him and B are together, I've never seen her in his building. But what's strange to me, I see Larry Johnson all the time. In fact, he lives with Jay-Z. The other night, they attended Cav and Nets game. When did they become so close? And why is Larry living with Jay? I have some video footage from phone of them together in the building. Is Jay gay? Then the blog went on to say, What's more, not only is Jay-Z rumors with a suspect male model, but the two of them actually went half on the place as if they were man and wife. Oh, how sweet. Then the blog went on to say, The Chiefs have been talking to Johnson agent about a new deal, but the two sides still are far apart. A club source put the odds of Johnson holding out this summer at 50-50. Johnson, who owns a home in New York with rapper Jay-Z, showed up in Kansas City Sunday for the first time since the team began its voluntary workouts last month and has worked out with his teammates the last two days. He has indicated that he will attend the team's post-draft minicamp in two weeks. Then the blog went on to say, It must be tough having to fly out to Kansas City for minicamp when he could be in New York with his boo. <laughs> okay. But really, I'd say Jay-Z definitely has some explaining to do. I mean, it's bad enough he got Memphis bleak in his will and he's always got something bad to say about a woman. Even I'll sometimes praise the size of a woman's cans. But sharing an apartment with a shirtless male model, closet case, that's just the gay. Granted, I realize him and Beyonce are always to be all serious at this point, but what does that mean, really? Plenty of gay guys have been married to women over the years. At this point, if Jay-Z wants to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that he's straight, he's going to have to do something extra straight. Even if a video of him tagging Beyonce was to emerge, I'm not sure if that would suffice. How will we know he was enjoying it? He always seems so expressionless. Now, this coincides with the post and video I released about Beyonce and her lead guitarist, B.B. McGill, who has been rumored to have had an affair. So, could it be that the initial PR contract relationship that was supposed to have been temporarily to clean up Jay-Z's image at the time and boost and publicize Beyonce for her at the time of her upcoming first solo album? But... As I said in the video, Beyonce and Kelly Rowland has been rumored to both be bisexual and Jay-Z and Beyonce have both been very supportive of the LGBTQ community, which you should be. I mean, we shouldn't judge anyone of their sexual preference. I mean, it's their damn business, you know, regardless of race or color. I don't really care. Personally, I know a lot of gay people and they are the best, best people. I actually, I have to say this, I love seeing mixed couples because it, it actually is like a, a proven confirmation how far we've gotten. So I embrace it. I mean, mixed relations, mixed couples, embrace. Don't care, it just warms my heart, but it's just me. But is this support not only for their fans, but also for personal preferences? I mean, is this arrangement, I mean marriage, a real union or all just for money and an in image? Because as we know, JC hid the fact that his mother was gay for years and even cried when she finally spoken out. 
whether he cried because it was nice to see his mother happy or he cried because he wished that he could do the same or both. To be a gay rapper is highly frowned upon and Beyonce and Jay-Z take their image very seriously. It's their brand, their arrangement, their meal ticket. I mean, be happy in love in public and do our dirt behind closed doors, right? Now, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I mean, is Jay-Z gay? I don't know. It's possible and I do know a lot of undercover gay men. And lots of them were married at some point and when they came out the whole town was shocked because they really played the straight role very well and jay-z does take a strong liking to kaepernick and once lebron james so he does like athletes and a lot of them are gay maybe it's something deeper or he could just like sports although i've never seen him play sports before Oh, and Sean Combs and he are very close, aside from the secrets between the two, and one of them being Kathy White, where it was said that Sean Combs is the one who had introduced them to, oh yes, knowing he was dating Beyonce. So maybe the connection goes deeper than just friendship. I mean, have you all seen the Netflix movie Black Mirror with the episode of the two best friends who started out playing virtual reality games and later started having virtual relations together? Of course, playing a man and a woman, but feeling the reactions in reality and liked it. All while one being married and the other a gigolo and slash businessman, hint, hint. Could this be one of those moments? Could this also be why Beyonce has been feeling some kind of disconnection from Jay-Z? Hence, why don't you love me? And the Lemonade album may be, just like Sean Combs, women is not his thing. So, I don't know. Anyway, tell me your thoughts below. Could Jay-Z be in fact bisexual? Are Beyonce and Jay-Z arrangement just to cover up to hide their sexual preferences, among other things? Tell me your thoughts below. Hey, don't go anywhere. There's more. Oh, and, and, and it's good, especially for you deaf teachers and y'all always try to do I mean, it is really good. Really good. I mean, you guys are going to love this. My girl's mind. Are excuse us you are the one taking your dear sweet twine hey, don't rush me i will then get with it then i mean hurry up what's taking so long just do it i mean you're taking your little time make trying to make it all theatrical just go ahead and say what you have to say stop taking your freaking time tell them about this go stuff because we need to have way. this what don't you dare zap me away don't you dare now that we got that headache out of the way, I can finally tell you about my new blog. Yes, my website. That means you can read all of my scripts in detail, pictures, videos, receipts, plenty receipts. Okay, just in case you may have lost what I said or didn't understand what I was saying, you can read in detail for everything I've said and then analyze for yourself. Oh, yes. Oh, and there's one more thing that I have done. I'm actually starting a videography business. That does not mean that I'm going to your events and recording your events. No, that means I take the photos, video clips, whatever from those events and I create magic. All the details are below. Have a great day. Bye.